on the air with me right now. Uh, he's been on before. Uh, it's Bill Conroy. Bill, welcome back to the Expert Witness Show. Welcome. Welcome to you guys. Will you just kind of tell our listeners, you know, what happened and, and what have you found? DEA agents, and there's additional people involved, um, were leaking classified information to narco traffickers because they're in league with narco traffickers along with corrupt members of the Colombian National Police to commit every kind of crime imaginable against the American people with the protection of, of those agencies. They basically had a, 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 a criminal organization going that involved, you know, this information was used to help them, um, assist them in, in their, their uh, narco trafficking business. A number of people were murdered as a result of this. Informants that were being run by various government agencies got compromised. There was a wiretap intercept where allegedly a, a, a DA agent was involved in money laundering for the uh, paramilitary organizations down there, which are heavily involved in the drug trafficking. I mean, the paramilitaries and the narco traffickers are almost indistinguishable. A lot of the, for example, the North Valley cartel narco traffickers are former Columbia National Police. And so this all gets linked at some level to a corrupt narco state in Colombia, which is propped up by our government. A Department of Justice attorney wrote a memo in late 2004, 2004, alleging that there was major corruption in the U.S. Embassy in Bogota involving U.S. law enforcement agents. That's been backed up by multiple documents, even DEA investigations.